Hello and welcome to today's session on building effective teams through systems, training and recruit and recruiting. I'm your business coach, Phil Bajura, and today we're going to delve into the keys to creating a winning team for your business. First on our agenda is systems. Picture your business as a well-oiled machine. Every gear, every cog has its place. It's crucial to establish streamlined processes and systems to ensure smooth operations. Implementing effective systems not only increases efficiency, but also fosters a culture of accountability. When everyone knows their role and understands the workflow, you pay the way or the way for a collaborative and productive team. And now recruiting, the foundation of a winning team. Your hiring decisions can make or break the dynamics of your workplace. Strategically recruiting individuals who not only possess the required skills, but also align with your company culture is paramount. A harmonious team with shared values is more likely to overcome obstacles and achieve collective success. Now let's unlock the keys to a winning team. From the clear communication to fostering a positive team culture. So the first key is strong leadership. You, as the leader, must demonstrate a conviction and determination to be the strong leader. The second key is a common goal. It's critical for everyone on the team to understand the goal, the big goal. Having a clear and compelling goal is essential for the business. The next key is the rules of the game. Everyone wants and needs to know how the game is to be played and where the boundaries have been set. No more surprises. The fourth key then is an action plan. Everyone in the business must have their own personal plan of action, what they're going to accomplish to move the business forward. If you're going to expect everyone to have a plan, then how important is it that there is a plan for the business? The next key is support risk-taking. Everyone makes mistakes, and as the business owner or manager, you must acknowledge the good effort and help the team learn from every good effort that goes badly. This can be a game-changer if you play it well. The next key is 100% involvement and inclusion. That's right, everyone must be involved. We're not asking folks to simply come in and do their manual tasks. We need everyone to have their head in the game if we're going to win. The next key is ongoing training for your team and yourself. Ongoing training and education for everyone is the key for opening new avenues for opportunity to get better at what you or your business does. And the final key to a winning team is know and appreciate your people. No matter how, how well you do the, the keys one through seven, if you don't get to know your team and show them that you care about them, you will not win their heart. We are after their hearts, not just the brains or their muscles. Now let's talk training. A team is only as strong as its weakest link. Investing in your team's skills and knowledge is an investment in your business's success. Continuous training keeps your team sharp and adaptable and ready to tackle new change or new challenges. It's about empowering your employees with the tools they need to excel in their roles and contribute to the overall growth of your business. As we conclude our journey today, remember, building a winning team is an ongoing process. By implementing these strategies in systems, recruitment, training and recognition, you're setting the stage for a team that not only meets but exceeds expectations. I hope these insights inspire you to take proactive steps in cultivating 
high-performing team. For more tips and personalised guidance, feel free to reach out. Here's to your success and the success of your team. Until next time, keep leading with purpose.